Welcome back to Dracon's Plays, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champion's Ballad DLC. That is quite the mouthful every time I have to introduce this. There she is. While I'm here, I might as well try to sell topazes. How many do I even have? I only have nine. That's fine. Um, I just got a significant boost in our income anyways. Actually. While we're here, I'm also gonna... What do you got for arrows, friend? Fire and ice arrows. Wait, I need that for a quest, don't I? Right? Yeah, I need... Alright. Actually, wait. Huh. None of those count while they're on the counter. Here, anyways. Just curious. Oh yeah, that recharges really, really fast now. Oh man, Droop's protection is gonna be awesome when it's... Oh! I just realized this symbol of um, Rodonia. Is it Rodonia? Yeah, I think so. Starts glowing whenever you use him. Alright. Up there, eh? Alright. Now, let's see. Getting all of my inputs wrong. I, mean, I literally just played this yesterday, so don't know what's happening. Then again, I did just play uh, Monster Hunter World and the Lost um, Spear. Spear. I still don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Demo. So the different control schemes might just be messing with me a little bit. I applaud your courage in coming here. The location that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Ooh, wow. On Death Mountain Summit, really. All right. The stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. What secrets do it ho does it hold? Aww. Hmm, what's this? A traveler in the land of flames. Are you truly able to withstand the heat? No, it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Mm. It must be that you um, applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir, just as I did. Is that so? Sure. Ooh. Yes, I knew it. I'm in the same boat, friend. If I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a big bird. Well, never mind my musings. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. 
The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trial that champion Daroop overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudonia's champion, never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Champion, trials await. Light rings again. That seems to be a theme. Always light ring. So did it move you? By stepping, steeping myself in legends of the champions, I'm beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. I can imagine it vividly, the champion's vigilance from a hundred years ago. My teacher always advised that, to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot, Talking to anyone who will listen. Your bird, shouldn't that be a wing or something? I don't know. I was lucky enough to meet with Yunnabul in Bulda, in Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled me with some rather interesting stories. I'm certain these stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. All right, let's get some pictures. That way I have the locations. That one's pretty easy. All right, the springs. Ah, the skeleton. All right, so southern point. Right around here? Let's see, above these springs. All right, and that little, all right. Just like so. Alright. And then up there by that skeleton. There's the skeleton. Alright. So. Out here. Alright. Awesome. So, like normal to start with, we're going to read the diary, and then we're going to proceed to these challenges. Now. Question is, which one is going to be which? I can make an educated guess, but I have been wrong with those. Um, case in point, the Mulgia. Um, from Naboris' stuff. Naboris slash Orbosa. Possibly wanted this hour. Do you need something? 
Tell me about Daruk. I want to know about Daruk. Ah, popular subject these days. Not too long ago, a retail bard came by wanting to know all about him. Told him about all kinds of things. For example, but the Boulder Breaker, Doruk's weapon of choice. I told him how heavy it is and how its power is unmatched. You know the valley of Groton Cliff, southwest of Gorko Tunnel. It was made by Daruk with his Boulder Breaker of one night. Why? Why? Why do you think? To make it easier for us Gorons to get all that tasty rock roast. That Rito fella seemed to like all the stories I told him better about. Not a big fan of that one. The heroic and exciting stories of Daruk capture him most much better. Tell me something. Oh, I saw him starting off into the distance on top of the entrance gate. Typical. Actually, it seems to me that Unibo is acting more accomplished and confident these days. Maybe he's finally realized what it means to be a descendant of the Great Daru. Alright, so he explicitly mentioned... Alright. Oh wow, he fell asleep fast. Alright, you know the valley of... Alright, southwest... Hey, the boss of this back is all better, Goro. Oh, and Rudania stopped rampaging. I feel like I can finally take it easy, Goro. Oh, did you need something, Goro? Tell me about Daru. Mm. But Lord Daru, Goro. Oh. oh, that reminds me of something. I found Lord Daru's training journal. He must have been a big eater. He sure talks about delicious rocks a bunch. What else? Oh, Lord Daru also had a good friend who liked to eat as much as he did. I don't have much of an appetite myself, so I'm pretty scrawny, Goro. I'm gonna have to start eating lots so I can become as strong as those two. Traveling journal? That's right, I found it when I was cleaning out the abandoned North Mine where we met. Lord Daruk's training journal is at my house now, Goro. Where is his house? Well, that's not his house. Oh, boy. Alright, so this is the blacksmith's house. Right? God dang it. Where is his house? Oh. Oh, babe. Alright, where is he? Alright, this is Boss's house. Here we go. Yes. I'm gonna start off writing in this diary thing starting now up. A diary. 
Nah, maybe I'll call it my training journal. They say you got to go... Bleh. They say all you got to do is write down stuff that happens. Us Gorons prefer the simple life. So I hope simple stuff counts. Let's see, for today's journal entry, what should I write about? Oh, I know. I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It was delicious. I think I'll eat some off soon. I talked to some of the Hylians at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Calamity again. Reminds me of when those scrawny Sheikah came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up that divine beast or whatever. Those Hylians were saying that beast thing is a weapon someone will need to learn how to control. Back in the good old days, Gorons didn't need to worry about relics we couldn't eat. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Maybe I'll track down a prime rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. Today I saw someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. He was this little teeny guy, so I rushed down the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was handy with a sword. By the time I rolled his way, he'd already taken out all the monsters. Couldn't help but admire his Gorn-like strength. While I was distracted, a monster jumped, almost got the jump on me. He stopped it. The great D Daruk saved by a tiny Hylian. Must have had a dopey look on my face when that happened. I hope he didn't notice it. That little Hylian from before is named Link. He's got a respectable appetite, loves to eat meat, fruit, vegetables, all sorts of things a decent person wouldn't dream of eating. Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I offered some grade-A rock roast to help refine his palate. I asked him how it tasted. He liked it so much, he was speechless. I knew Hylians could eat rocks too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. This little guy is also incredibly strong. He said something when he focuses. It feels like time slows down. Heh. <laughs> really like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back, and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that sells it. From now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came to Goron City and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The Great Daruk never turns down someone in need. When I said I would, the princess seemed really happy. There will be four champions to control the four Divine Beasts, and one swordsman to take down Ganon. Including the princess, our anti ganon team is six strong, made up of all kinds of people. This has the markings of an epic feast. I got the ball rolling by giving the princess my best rock roast. She said thanks, but I think she was holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul on her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good. Haven't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. Oh, word has it that Link's been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine things went nuts during some test and shot out deadly beams. With true long Goron spirit, Link grabbed a pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the king's eye, and not long after that, he is appointed to guard Zelda. I expect nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen to pilot Rudonia. But I haven't been... What? But I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the Divine Beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. Can't explain it, but at the end of the day, I was able to control Rodania just like I wanted to. I guess experience is the best teacher. Low guy's strength must come from working hard and never giving up. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm gonna treat him to some gourmet sorline rock. All my Hellian brother seems to do these days is watch over the teeny princess while she does her research. Looks like tough work, but the princess seems a lot happier and talks more since she's been doing it, so it must be okay. Here the little fu guy finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were shoveling food. Surprisingly, she opened up right back, said something princessy like, I guess we're the same, you and I. Hmm, sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over their food preferences. That'll do it, all right. Speaking of open up, all this journal's writing has made me realize something about myself. Writing makes me hungry. Oh, okay. Well, Daruk's motivations are incredibly simple. All right. Stop eight item of molten stone. Follow rings of light alone. Survive the fire, or the lava's fiery fate. Okay. Wait, 
That's right. Ah, there's a... Okay, gotcha. Alright. So one of them is most definitely whatever the heck the lava tilus is called. The rock monster guys. Um, it's most certainly one of those. Obviously rings of light, so we're going to have some sort of race thing where we have to get the rings of light. This one, so in the desert, desert we had sand seals. Up in the mountains we had um, shield surfing. This one might be paragliding? And then the last one swimming? Maybe, maybe, fair guesses. Alright. Survive the lava's fiery fate. I have no clue what that one means. That's gonna be the mystery one. There's the new music for when you get near one of the new shrines, then. Wait, catch Ah, that was the fireproof lizard. <laughs> These guys... Pump it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth Gorm Blood Brother, the one who beat the contest of endurance in our gut check challenge. Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but just Gorm Blood Brothers are gonna find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Daruk's secret Goron Champ training, intense. We're gonna do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk. It's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Feel the burn, brother! Okay. You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target and stand on the lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Daruk really did this training. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This training's gonna be rough. I can almost taste the gains. Time to strategize, brother. Oh, boy. I get it. Oh, really?
Crap. Yeah, th this is gonna suck. Well then. I don't know what I expected there. Okay. Well, that was simpler than expected. Pump it up, brother! What happened here? I looked away for one blast a second and the growing ring disappeared. Now I can't find that. Try that epic training. Woe is me, brother. Huh? Feel the burn, brother. The glowing ring is gone. Does that mean someone completed the training? No, not possible. The only one who could complete training like this is Do Lord Daruk, or one of us brothers. <sighs> so sweaty, brother. The glowing ring is gone. Now I don't have to do that crazy training. Thank goodness. All right. Well, that answers that about the lava thing. Rino Honika Shrine. All right. What do we got? Block the blades. I don't know what I was actually supposed to do on that first puzzle, but...
Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. The fact that I can't climb... Dang it! That was stupid. Um...
What the actual heck? Why is there not a ledge grab there? Alright, I need to pull that slightly towards me. Why did it just randomly tip? Oh my god. This is this is stupid. I don't know what the intended thing here to do is. But I don't think it was that. Well, I found the chest. And I, I made it past it, so that's what matters. Stone Smasher. 42, eh?
Wait, oh. I actually had to turn the gamepad upside down to pull that one off. Alright, we made it. Alright. Yep. Now let's see what waits us at the top of the mountain. I hope the other ones aren't, aren't nearly as bad. Um, the light ring one is going to be a piece of cake. Um, at least the last two were. Those. Quick, easy, very straightforward. Yeah, it's a hang glider section. Awesome. No. It was just a delayed one. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty easy, actually. Wow, they're putting one over in this area. Awesome. Charlotte Alright, this should be pretty straightforward. Alright. Well, let's see what this shrine's all about then. Blind spots. I see. Oh, man. I... Okay. I understand. Alright, so we have to manage to switch sides on this.
All right. First one was pretty simple. All right. Just a great flame blade. Oh, my, why? Crap, seriously. Exits in sight, anyways. There we go. Eh, that wasn't too bad. Now just to fight a stone talus then. I love how it calls it a new challenge, but it's literally just a um, refight of an old boss. Now let's see. What would be the best way to get there? Probably just to fly down from here.
All right. Now then. All right. So pretty soon here, we're going to get some more stuff on Drew. I hate that. It's like, why is it too dangerous to go near while... That check is pretty close, actually, isn't it? Alright, yeah, there's totally gonna be a Talus fight here, isn't there? That's what I'm assuming. Because stop a titan of molten stone. That's a pretty like self evident little thing there. Let's see some fire shoe shoes. Or are they actually? <laughs> How are you handling the heat, little guy? Don't expect to cool off even when the sun sets. Are right, Leon here? Does this mean are you gonna visit Lord Daruk's turf? His turf? That's right, I'm following the great Daruk's footsteps, too. In fact, I hear Lord Daruk defeat a huge monster at Lake Dermot. Wonder what that monster looked like. Ignitus Allen Talus Titan. Damn, the, him fighting him over lava is not. Uh, 
What the? There we go. That was tricky. Oh, and the worst part is he's over lava, so you don't even get any of the treasure. Oh, that sucks. Ha! <laughs> I landed directly on the Palace Titan. Is that a new Titan? Huh. Did they seriously update the compendium with new monsters? That would be cool. Alright, let's see what this shrine is all about. Moving targets. I see. Really? Can I hit that? That's my next question. Because that will lead to that chest. hit the button in time it just didn't register my press for some reason seriously
Oh. What the? What? I mashed the... Like, I legitimately hit that button multiple times and it didn't register. I did the thing, but it appears to have broke. So... Rip? I guess. Alright, what's phase two? Oh my god. Maybe? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Yeah, rip what's ever in that chest, apparently. All right. Rudania, got it. All right. Let's see. Honestly, getting to finally play the Champion's Bell is awesome, and just thinking on it's like, it's incredible that we get, that we got this new Zelda game that they just kept talking about for years. What was it? They first showed this off in 2014, I think. Just super early for Nintendo to really start talking about any of their games. Uh. All right. Let's see. So the trick with this boss is bombs. They're probably going to give us something like a stonebreaker. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Rudania's em 
uh, emblems, you'll be granted a chance to tread through the memories of the past. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. But, or, uh, do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world of your mind. There's more truth to it than you know, I think was that last line. Honestly, that auto-scrolling happened way too fast. Of course, we're wearing this set, just red, not... Yep. Breaker. The illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. Alright. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fears that dwell within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. The battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Fire Blake Gannon. Alright. Wow, Boulder Breaker. 60 damage. Knight's Bow. Five Ice Arrows. Wow. No shield. Phase one done. Phase two. They gave us a super powerful weapon, so that made that part a breeze. What? <laughs> Boom! Easy peasy. Well, that was pretty simple. All right, Cass, what do you got? Mm. Well, well, though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. I speak figuratively, of course, I travel by wing rather than by foot. Ah, wandering around here and listening to the antidotes about Champion Doru has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I feel felt inclined to roost here, near the divine bee's Varidonia, which Drup himself mastered. Mm. 
I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Dewey. Recall Rudonia's Champion of Flame. Before his fated moment finally came. This is the tale of Great Daruk's task. In the princess who came to ask. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. In times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. <laughs> the shining knight will watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Who? That could only be... What the? They really are all over the place these days. Hmm? Is someone being attacked? Coward. Wait here, princess. Whoa! Dang! He wrecked those guys. <laughs> no monster stands a chance when fighting me, the almighty Daruk. <laughs> Your face. Oh, the dog. Here was the one being attacked. <laughs> oh, Aww. Face to try. Huh? What? He's afraid of dogs? <laughs> He's afraid of dogs, really? Good riddance. Stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid. <laughs> This music, though. So tell me, princess. Yes. <laughs> Calamity Ganon isn't uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? <laughs> oh, that one's great. <laughs> That one's gold. Oh. <laughs> hmm, I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel the stirring of inspiration about these verses. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use Daruk's protection more than ever. Cool. Reduced cooldown. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Ha! <laughs> bacon breath. <laughs> that... <laughs> no, that's a good insult for Ganon. Yeah, just call him bacon breath. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Faster recharge. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Next time, we're going to go and do um, Mipha in Divine Beast Ruta's quest. So anyways, I'm going to see all of you guys next time. Bye!